Right. So warm up for today is 100 jumping jacks, 50 Russian twists, and 10 push ups. Oh, and then uh, the neck exercises, 30 of each. Neck exercises are um, lying on your back. We're going to do the yeses, the noes, and then the ear to shoulders. So 30 of each one of those thingies. Um, that's not big. Oh, you did judo, you know. You know. All right, go. All right, neck rotations. All the way. Up and down.
side to side. Your shoulder. Shoulder circles. Either way. Cross chest. Over your head. On all fours, head down. Okay, go into downward dog. Right leg up and through. Right arm up. Right arm down, left arm up. Both arms down, back knee down, straighten the front leg, reach forward. Back up, fold that leg in front of you, scoop the back leg back, reach down and forward. And table yourself back into downward dog. Left leg up and through. Left arm up. Left arm down, right arm up. Both arms down, back knee down, straighten the front leg, reach forward. Come back up, pull that leg in front of you, 
Scoot the back leg back, reach down and forward. And take yourself back into downward dog. Drop both knees down to frog. Stretch forward for Cobra. Look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Sit back in the child's pose. Reach over to the right. Reach over to the left. And um, right, uh, movement drills do hip escapes in place or if you're doing it not in place uh hip escapes regular on your forearm and your hand All right, bridge, left, right shoulder. All right, next, bridge, hip escape, scissor kick, forward roll.
Right, next, slow and controlled back roll to the frog jumps. You can go into a child's pose at the very bottom. So slow and controlled back roll, flatten out. I do a child's pose, the frog jump, and then. All right, last one. Let's see if we have the space to do this, Monique. So we're going to do the sit out progression. So right here, I'm going to put my foot up, sit out, and come around back into that pose. Foot up in this 90 degree angle, sit out, and then I'm going to turn over towards the arm that's already on the ground. Switch back. All right, time. Get water, get your dummies, we will review. We did last week and maybe move on. All right, so we're going to do, or we're going to review what we did last week, which is um, while you're mounted, frame up, uh, go to the, go to your side, kick escape a little bit, get the leg out, kick escape the other way, and then we're going to take the back and also do the inverted arm bar. So how that looks like if you don't remember from last week. Here, I'm going to frame up, I'm going to probably hip bump here, hip bump, when it comes, when they come down, I'm going to get on my side, I'm framing up, one arm is um, directly across the hip, the other arm, depending on where their leg is, is my elbow pushing on their knee, or sometimes I'll get my hand, as long as my elbow is tucked to my hip, I, it's safe, pushing on the, the leg. The knee, and then I'm going to bring my knee up to my elbow, this foot over the ankle, pulling across, 
so I can get my foot out. And then I'm going to hip escape towards them. Um, and then my arms are going to come here. I have the underhook. The underhook's going to go all the way around. So I'm going to get on my elbow. And then I can, well, I can get the back from here. I can get it from up here. Let's say, let me. If I am not getting back, I can step all the way around for that inverted arm bar. Yes, you can see it again. We did this last week. So take the back and get the inverted arm bar as the second one. But all starting from that half guard position with the underhook. All right, time. We're gonna go into butterfly instead. Um, any questions on that before you move on to the butterfly? Okay. So this is sort of in response to Amy's question last week, where you have gotten your leg up, but they're they're blocking and you can't get their foot across, so basically their shin is over here, right? So we're going to keep that there and we're going to turn the other way. We have this first um, hook in and we're just going to hit escape out and let the other hook come through so that we have the butterfly. So we'll be done. So I'm here, I get all the way, to this position, but I can't quite get their leg this way, right? So their leg is still there, but my knee is my knee is up. My knee, I got my knee through the hole here. I just can't get my shin 
across because they're blocking with their knee, their shin, whatever. So I'm here. So I'm going to use that hook, kind of not well, kind of elevate them. So I'm going to make my hook strong here and I'm going to turn into them here. So then I'm creating the space. If you don't keep this strong, if you like let it lay flat, you'll get stuck. But you have to like really keep that hook strong. And then here we skate the other way to get your other hook out. This arm, since it's already out right here, I'm going to underhook and the other arm's going to overhook. So this arm is underhooking, this arm is overhooking. I'm going to Hold them up and then sit up. I'm going to use my hooks to push them up, hold them up, push them out here. From here, I'm going to. This arm is the overhooking arm. I'm going to. Head up. I'm going to sit kind of down here and I'm going to pull this arm in. I'm going to put my shoulder on the mat and this is going to hook up and over. It's hard to do with a dummy that has a floppy head. So once again, I am going to frame up, get my first leg, at least my knee, all the way up to my elbow. I'm going to make this hook strong, and I'm going to turn back into them, get that other leg out. I'm still framing with my arms to get that other leg out because I've turned, and this hook is helping me um, keep them elevated, and I'm framing up. I'm getting my second leg through that hole. And now I've got my hooks. I have this under hook, I have an over hook, and then I'm going to, I can do this as many times as I need, but I'm just going to rock them so that their center mass is in my center before I kick out and get them out. Here, I have an under hook, I have an over hook, I'm going to kind of get on my side butt, and then I'm going to get on my shoulder. The under hook is the one that's going to go up, and my hook is going to help me elevate here. Yeah, let's start. There.
All right, time. Okay. So. I'm here, I got the butterfly, I got the underhook and overhook, and I like scooting myself out, it's actually it works better in the long run. Um, when I have the overhook, I can even grab or pin the hand to the ground, I can grab the sleeve. Oh, yeah, right pin the hand to the ground and I can go. I can go hip escape out because I need the space to um, get them kind of falling that way. So say I have the sleeve, I'm going to push the sleeve to their stomach before I drop my shoulder to the ground and have the underhook and get them around. But they know that's coming. And I had that hook, but now they're going to trap it. So I'm not in a I'm not in a half guard because my knee is out. I'm like in a quarter guard or whatever. So I'm here kind of in this mount, but it's stuck. So I don't really like dealing with this because I can do all the mounty things, but I'm stuck. So instead of staying in mount, because I actually don't like mount anyway. I'll switch. So there, they have me in quarter guard or whatever. I'm going to put my knee up. This way. So I'm here. I'm going to come here. I'm going to put my elbow to the armpit, my hand to the, uh, the hip, and I'm going to step back here. Usually, They'll still be holding on. I can take it off and I can come into this uh, side control position. That isn't quite the full side control. So, once again, overhook, underhook, scoot out. I can. The best way is to put their arm underneath there. If you can't, you just have that overhook and I'm just holding on, that works too. I'm gonna to put my shoulder to the ground, elevate here, they hook. They hook and I'm in mount, but I'm gonna go into side control. I'm gonna put my elbow, I'm gonna first put my weight down, put my lat on their chest, elbow to the armpit, hand to the hip, step back. If they are still hooking, I'm gonna keep, I'm not gonna put my head up like this. If I put my head up, they're going to like push me back. I wanna keep my elbow to the mat, my head low. I'm going to use the other foot if I can to kick that off. That we can stay here in each body or come around to side control. All right, go do it from all the way from uh, being mounted.
All right, time. Okay, so we're gonna try something from here that, whatever, we've done this before, it's gonna be a Kimura, Judy's Kimura, but she, I don't know if anybody saw it on Instagram, Judy is one of the black belt instructors. Um, uh, she taught at Four Elements um, when we were in person, but she's now not teaching because um, we're on Zoom. But she competed this past weekend and like won her her um, match with the Kimura that she taught us. But like from like the position fell apart. Anyway, I'm gonna show it. We'll work from there. So our foot is stuck. We came around. We pushed up. Now we're coming here. Um, they're trying to get out. Let's say we already got this arm. We got an underhook. We're in this side control. And I am going to come around and try to get this um, Kimura that's uh, in a north south position. We're going to do it step by step because when you can do this. So let's say I'm in side control. I don't have the head control. I'm, I've come. From that back step, I'm gonna get an underhook, or I guess an underhook. Um, this arm that's closer to the head is gonna go under here, under the shoulder, and I'm going to cup at the chest or cup at my own, like if I had a gi, I'd grab my own gi. And then I can hold on to the wrist. It's better if you hold on to the wrist if you don't. Uh, you can still do stuff. My legs, then I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to lift the person with my arms here. This leg, because we're going to do the different version, I'm going to put behind the head. I have my hand on their wrist and I'm pushing it to their hip. This other foot is going to come around. And I'm going to, what I really want is that my leg kind of replaces where my hand is almost here. So this is the position that Judy got, but she fell forward, but continued keeping the Kimura lock and she 
hooked to the back of her calves, on the back of the neck, and the back of the legs. She came here, put her head on the ground, hooked, put her shoulder closer to the head on the mat, and finish with this one. That might be a lot. Okay, but let's try it. So, one more time. We're coming out of that back step. Take the leg off. Come into the side control where I don't have the head control. I'm going to get the arm control instead. Here, hug it to me. Put the wrist on the hip. Wrist on the hip. My legs are going to do this like step first. My knee is going to come to where my, my this knee is. So replacing where armpit is before I set my leg up, come pull them up towards me. Leg goes behind the head. I'm going to put my weight on that leg and on this hand on the hip, step this other one over. I'm gonna put my head down on the mat, my knees down, hooking, head down on the mat, Shoulder towards the head on the mat. We're going to finish with more there. Around. Here. More uh, position. So I came up, pull them up, put my leg behind the head, have the Kimura lock here. Going to put my weight on that leg. This one's going to come around. I'm just because the position fell apart. I'm going to put my knees on the ground, my head on the ground, keep that Kimura, put my shoulder on the ground. This one kind of lifts, and I'm going to get that Kimura here. Yeah. Let's try it. We'll work on this again. Yeah, you could do it that way too. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, that's right.
All right, time. We will work on this on Friday as well. We'll, we'll actually go through probably the um, actual whole um, Mora from that from that position rather than just that like version. Um, put away your dummies. So let's do the last few minutes of stuff. I got erased. Okay, well, we'll do five because one of them got erased and I don't know what it says. <laughs> Could be plain, but whatever. So we're doing wall sits, um, hovers. Hover is you're in kind of like uh, on all fours, but your knees are like an inch off the ground. So that's hovering. Then we're gonna do Superman's regular sit-ups and then leg lifts. That's only five. So we're gonna start with wall sits. So find a wall or whatever. You can go against the couch maybe the arms rest of the couch maybe maybe <laughs> if not you could do two sets of the hovering it's pretty much the same position just hovering sucks you'll you'll see okay cool that's good all right starting the timer now go All right, down for hover. Next is Superman. Regular sit-ups all the way up.
Legless, last one. Right, time. And that is it.